Hello orchid friends, welcome to my new channel. This channel will be about my orchids and about how I grow them, but I plan on maybe doing some videos about other plants and nature as well. Please forgive my accent and feel free to correct every one of my mistakes in the comment sections. The more you correct me, the more my English will improve. I have made up an orchid tag to quickly introduce myself and to bring a new thing to the YouTube orchid community. It consists of 10 questions. Let's get started. Question number one is, how long have you been growing orchids and which was your very first orchid? I think I got my very first orchid about 10 or 11 years ago and that was a Phalaenopsis hybrid from a home improvement store. It has been giving me a hard time ever since and it has never flowered for me again. I think that is the reason why I never got crazy about this type of Phalaenopsis hybrids. And it must be six or seven years ago that I really got into growing orchids. Question number two is, what is your main reason for growing orchids? That is what they do for me, they make me happy and growing orchids and taking care of them feels relaxing for me. And I have loved plants and fragrant flowers all of my life. Question number three is, do you grow other plants besides orchids? Yes I do, but too few because my space is currently limited. But I have a balcony with herbs, tomatoes and some other plants and inside I have a few plants like a fern, an elephant's foot and a monstera. Question number four is, what are your three favorite orchid genera? That's Vanda, Cattleya and Phalaenopsis. Question number five is, which are your five favorite orchids? And that's a very tough question for me. But I think it's three of my faithful Vanda hybrids, because each of them had four or five flower spikes this year. One is purple, one is brownish and one is blue. And then there are two beautiful Cattleyas that I have. One is a cross from Cattleya Jewelers Art and BLC Pamela Hetherington. And the other one is a No ID Lelio Cattleya with yellow flowers and a nice fragrance. Question number six is, which one of your orchids do you like least and why? I think that should be my Sologeny Cristata. It likes cooler conditions, which I do not want to have in my home. And that is why we don't get along too well with each other. Or maybe it's one of my Phalaenopsis that I cannot enjoy because it's not doing too well. Question number seven is, how many orchids do you have at the moment? I have 80 and something orchids at the moment. Question number eight is, what kind of growing space do you have? A windowsill, a grow room, a greenhouse, etc. I have a southern and a northern windowsill and in summer I have some of my cattleyas on my balcony. Question number nine is, have you ever lost a particularly loved or expensive orchid? Yes, I have loved and lost orchids, but there was a certain Vanda Tassolata cross that I really wanted to have. And I finally found a seller and he brought it to an orchid show for me. And maybe two weeks later it died from some infection. It had cost 35 euros, but this year I was finally able to find and buy the same cross again and I hope this one will survive. Question number 10 is, which orchids are on your wish list? Actually I don't have a wish list myself because I don't have too much space left, but there are still some plants that come to my mind. And that is two types of Lelia or Cattleya purpurata, Carnia and Werkhäuseri, or a cross like Cattleya C.G. Rebling would be very nice as well, and maybe an Angrecum sesquipedale, a Maxillaria rufescens, or an Encyclia prismatocarpa because I love fragrant orchids. Now that was the tag, and here are quite a few orchid lovers that I'd like to tag, and that's Rachel from Gardening at Duenza, Wade from Wade's Orchids, Astrid, Brittany from Holy City Orchids, Miss Orchid Girl Danny, Bill from Plants and Things, Andrea from Orchids in a Duchy, and Pam from Her Mouse and Lily channel. Maybe one or the other of them watches this video and enjoys answering my questions. That would be really nice. But I would be extremely happy about every one of you who does the orchid tag that I haven't named. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, you could comment in the comment section. Thanks very much for watching and until next time.